All right, let's begin. Hello everyone and welcome to BHC Studio. Today we'll be taking a look at the camera sling by Clever Supply. It's a brand new bag. Todd sent this out to me a couple of weeks ago, maybe even a month ago or so, to really give this bag a try. And I've used it a few times out and about. It is a six liter sling, which is the perfect size for someone like myself. And you'll see, I have this bag fully packed out. And I've been working with Clever Supply for past few years. Todd reached out a few years ago and convinced me to give these kind of straps a try using nice horwing leather with the Peak Design anchor system. And you can see I have this already set up on my X-T5 and they just kind of clip in like that, right? And so when you want to quickly uh, attach straps, you want to change straps, take it off when you're putting on a tripod or putting it in your camera bag, this anchor system works out really well. And so um, I actually asked Todd, hey, um, if you are coming out with a new bag, uh, can you send me a strap that matches the leather? And you could see the quality of the straps is the same quality that he puts in his bags. And he put his heart and soul in this. He asked a lot of questions, asked what I thought about different types of bags and if I was willing to give this bag a try. And this is my honest opinion on what I think of this bag. And so uh, let's uh, take a look. So as I mentioned, uh, this is a six liter sling bag. Uh, it is on, this is gonna be a Kickstarter campaign. So I'll have the links down below. It's gonna be $199 USD, which is gonna be an introductory price. Regular price is gonna be $249. So you get 20% off. Uh, you get to support this awesome uh, micro brand that's making really great products for photo nerds just like us. So $1.99 to be part of the Kickstarter campaign. And you can see the quality materials, wax canvas, which is, I'm a huge fan of wax canvas because it looks cool. It feels nice to the hand, to the touch. It's waterproof. You can tell that the zippers here as well as all weather sealed zippers. And he has nice leather accents, um, just like right here. And look at the bottom. I mean, this is not cheap to put this much leather on the bottom here to protect the bottom, to keep it nice and strong, but as well as kind of a classy bag. He's got leather accents here on the side here where this uh, strap connects. And look at this, it kind of has a, kind of like a, a Gucci or like a nice premium kind of a pleat. I don't know what you call this, quilting, pleating, whatever this is. And he also has grab handles on the side and on the back. So that's one of the things that uh, I really look for in a sling bag or a counter bag. Easy to, you know, if you're getting on the, I don't know, a plane, this is a carry-on, you put it under your seat, you need to grab it quickly in the back seat of your car, you're grabbing it, you know, you can grab it this way, either side, you have this nice uh, sling across. This is adjustable on both sides, which is nice. So you have this adjustment here and you have the adjustment on this side here. It would be nice if one of the sides had a quick sort of, you know, like you, you unlock it and then you pull longer and then you close it, but maybe that's good for maybe the V2, but that's, uh, at least it's on both sides, which is great, so you can kind of balance. One thing I hate is when you pull one of these buckles all the way to one side and then it gets kind of stuck inside this padding here. His Clever Supply logo here, sort of embossed in this little bit of leather, and it's just black on the back here. So this is what the bag looks like. I have this completely packed out as I usually do because people usually wanna know, hey, like, how much stuff can you put in a six liter bag? Well, let's begin here to look inside. What does Taki have in here? Look at that. So one one thing right away is um, I do like, so this is kind of a brown, I don't know how to explain this color. It's brown, but it's kind of maybe a little, not purple, mauve, mauve brown. I don't know what you want to call it. And there is a black version of this bag as well. But on the inside, I do like it when bags are kind of brighter. So it doesn't have to be pink. Um, this material here is actually kind of a mesh material. So this looks darker than it is uh, in this video. Uh, but uh, you can see through this here. And in here, you can see I have three Leica M cameras. So if you want to know how much can you put in the main compartment, well, you can fit, as you can see, there's a bit of room here because of this um, this angle like this, right? So the M's kind of come right up to about here. And you still have all this space up top here. And that's where this top zippered section here comes into play. You can actually fit quite a bit of things in here. It's a stretchy material. So here is like, I have one of, one of my DOP kits that I have with all my cables. 
I have another dop kit with flashlights and multi-tool pen, stuff like that. And then I have a little anchor uh, wireless battery charger for my iPhone. And then I have Ulanzi wireless microphones. And in here, it's quite big and it has one little pocket here and two little holders here. So maybe you can put your batteries here, but it takes up, you know, you can put quite a bit in here because again, it's this top part here and this is very stretchy. So you could put fit quite a bit in here, maybe even your wallet or something like that. And there is a front zippered section here. A front section here and pretty much it's, there's no dimension to it really. So it's just whatever is flat. So here's a Clever Supply wallet here. And I also have the matching uh, neck strap here. So look at that, it's patinaed really nice over time. And I have a change pouch. And what else do I have in here? Oh yeah, I've got some pens and that's it. So. Besides the cameras, you can see, you can fit quite a bit of stuff, like little side accessories, but let's get into the, the main compartment and see all the stuff that's inside. All right, so as I mentioned, I have three Leica M's in sideways here. Uh, actually, before we go on, there is a little slot in the back. Um, Todd says that you can put an iPad 11 inch. Now I have an iPad 11 inch. I'm actually using it for notes for this video here. I have the um, uh, Logitech case on it. With the cover, it's a little bit tight. So maybe without the case, you could see it, it does kind of fit, but it's a little tight in there. So if you have the Logitech case where it comes with the keyboard cover, it won't fit in here. But without that, if you have that thinner uh, sort of case, it'll probably fit in here. And it also has like this little metal latch here to lock it in. I'd rather not have a latch here because this is metal. If this is flipped here, I'd be a little bit worried that maybe it'll scratch my cameras. And so um, I'd rather have uh, maybe, I'm not a fan of Velcro either. So maybe not even this. I don't see anything flying out of here with this closed. And so I personally, I could do without this, but it's still nice. You could have something in the back here. And I just put a little note a little A5 notepad clipboard in the back here. So now let's get to the camera. So here's three Leica M's. Here I have the new M11 with the 35 millimeter Sumalux. And then I have the M10R with the 35 Sumicron. And finally I have a Leica M7 with the 28 millimeter Sumicron. So that's enough, that's quite a bit of space. So just think about having three Leica M's with the lens on all the way across this way here. That's how much room there is. They're all going, let me put it back in again so you can see again, see that? Here we go, here we go, and here we go. Three of them. So imagine you only have one Leica M, right? So you got one Leica M, probably put a lens, and then you still have room for maybe a short little stubby water bottle or something like that, or two two M bodies, maybe like an X100, X Pro with a, a small lens. Um, let me just even do that here. So here's the, here's the X-T5, fits inside here, right? X-T5 with the 3514 with the uh, lens hood on, fits down in the middle, all right? So in, in here, uh, the bag does come with two dividers, Velcro dividers, and they have little SD card holders inside and this matches the pattern on the back of the bag here as well. Personally, I wouldn't use SD card holders in here. I'd be afraid that as I take the camera in and out, maybe the cards will slip out. Todd said he's used it and they never slip out for him. So maybe it's just, it's just me, but I wouldn't use it. I just have a little, I have a couple of SD card holders, waterproof holders, and I would just put that maybe inside the top pocket here or the front pocket over here. But I mean, if you need to put Temporarily cards in here you can so here's those two and Here's the other one here Exactly the same and so that's it pretty darn simple I'm gonna put everything back in again and as you can see just nice and simple six liter Just the right size. I mean you can pack it out the way I did it or you could just be really simple You don't need to use this top dimension as I showed you here this top half here Right, so the cameras are all down here, so they're all down here. So you probably have like another, maybe, of, of the six liters, you might have another two liters just up here. So you could probably even put, if you wanted to, is a, a thin water bottle or something that goes along the top here and then still keep it closed. 
or put some kind of a thing up, maybe an umbrella or something like that. And so uh, quite a bit of space. I won't put all the other little pouches and stuff in here, but again, you zip it up here and here you go. You got nice little pull tabs here. And again, that leather accent with the Clever Supply logo. And again, as I mentioned, this comes in both black and the brown. I think the brown will age nicer. I, I like having earth tone colors, as you can tell by, by my watch here, and even this leather strap here. I just like earth tones. And so, yeah, this bag has been great. If you shoot Leica, if you shoot Fujifilm, if you shoot with small and mirrorless cameras, and you wanna carry one or two bodies, couple of lenses, and still have extra room for your DOP kit, and you know, I don't know, maybe a water bottle, I don't know, a sandwich or something, you can definitely fit it inside six liter. To me, six to seven liter is the perfect sling size. Um, I packed it out fully, you don't need to. Obviously, who needs three like M cameras? Overall, great bag. And I will probably do another like sort of what's in my bag when I'm actually out and about with Camera Girl to show how I would naturally use this while I'm out and about. But I have used this a few times and I really enjoyed using it. So thank you, Todd so much for sending this out to me. Again, I'll leave the link down below for their Kickstarter campaign. And if you want to, like I did, you can, like I said, you could buy a matching strap that actually matches your bags. I think that looks pretty cool. So thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll talk to you soon and happy shooting.